Today is World Teen Mental Wellness Day, and a local health care worker is shedding more light on the mental health tolls young people experience. A therapist with UofL Health System is sharing what you can do to step in and help those who might be struggling. WHAS Lovins Ford Sanders is taking a look at the signs and what these mental health challenges could mean for America's young people. President Biden describing it as a national mental health crisis in his State of the Union address. With years of the pandemic, some of these issues are catching up with people, especially younger populations. And with them being consumed by these, well, they may not be getting the help they need. Let somebody in on it. You know, there's nothing lonelier than battling something and feeling like you don't have anyone to talk to. A message for teens and young adults everywhere. World Teen Mental Wellness Day is meant to shed a light on what youth may be struggling with. And let's get all Americans the mental health services they need. President Biden More making people. it clear in his State of the turn Union address that he wants to make it easier for people to be able to turn for the help they need. Brandon Kays, a mental health therapist with U L Health's Peace Hospital, says for young people, these are some of their most uncertain years. In their teenage year, a kid is going through a lot of change. A kid is uh, learning a lot of new things and starting the process of separating themselves from their family. So there's already a ton going on internally. Saying social media can play a large role in stress and anxiety, but also in a kid's communication skills, limiting them from being able to fully express themselves. We have kids come into program uh, here into the hospital and they don't really know how to communicate with an adult. They don't know how to verbalize what they're feeling. And for parents, well, he says it's important to talk to your children and let them open up to you. In time, our body can only bury it for so long. Uh, there is a breaking point for everyone. Noting now is a crucial time for their services as his team has seen that people tend to seek help around a year or two after the onset of something like a pandemic or traumatic event. If you ask about how long they've been going on and when they started, there's a direct relationship to COVID. You know, it was a, a curveball and they weren't expecting that they were going to have to completely change their lives. In Louisville, Ford Sanders, WHAS 11, on your side.